Welcome to the channel, friends. So today's video is gonna be covering this here, which is the T4 Pro Series thermostat from Honeywell. And I'll be talking about, in part one here, factory restore. Whether you buy it brand new or used, you can reset the device uh, back to the factory conditions. Then also I'll be talking about how to manually override the temperature set point, and there's two ways of doing that. And then also we're going to be talking about the advanced setup options. Those are all the configuration settings uh, to set up your thermostat to work correctly with a type of system you have in your home, meaning whether it's a boiler, furnace, forced hot air, forced hot water, and all those different, um, different functions and, uh, and settings that you need to know. Uh, this is crucial to setting up your device properly and it's crucial to its operation. So it's something you very... Uh, very much need to know uh, in order to make this thermostat operate correctly. So with that being said, let's get into the thermostat and go from there. So with the T4 thermostat, there's two different ways of manually overriding your heating or cooling set point. Now, before we get into that, I want to give you guys an overall uh, quick description of what's going on here on the screen. So first we have the time, then we have it's saying following schedule. This number right here is the set point temperature. This number right here that's in bigger font is the actual temperature of the room. And then over here we have mode, menu, and fan. So mode will be your simple heat, cool, and off. We're going to leave that on heating for right now. And then fan is fan auto and fan on. So fan auto is what you want. You want to keep it in that setting. Fan on is basically continuously on regardless of whether your heat or cooling is on or off. So this is just like a manual override. You can circulate the air in your home. So fan auto is what you want for normal operation. And then on the left and right, you have a minus and a plus button. So the very first way to manually override the thermostat say we want to go to we're in the heating cycle and we want it to be 73 in here so we go in there and just type in 73 very simple now it's going to give you this option here it says temporary hold and if you hit the hold button one more time it's going to say permanent hold now temporary hold it will continue to hold that 73 that set point until the next programmed interval. Okay, so there's four periods in this. I'm not gonna go into that. I'll go into that in part two, which is uh, the full-on programming. But it allows you to temporary hold, which will, which will mean it'll go to the next um, period on, on the actual thermostat and then continue on with the following schedule of what it's set to. So that's not a permanent hold. If you wanna keep it on all day at 73, you want to go ahead, bring it back to 73, and then we're going to go hit hold one more time and activate permanent hold. Now, this will keep it running 73 set point all day long uh, until you come in here and manually override it again, or you hit cancel. So let's do that one more time. Temporary hold, permanent hold. And you can go ahead and cancel that completely and go back now to the following schedule. So it's always going to default to the uh, following schedule once you hit um, cancel, and then it's going to continue with that. So if you're in temporary hold, once that time period is up, it's going to go into that following schedule, um, like I've mentioned. So that's the first way of doing it. Uh, the second way of manually overriding this thermostat is to go into menu. It says program. Now hit select. It says on. So that's that following schedule text that you see on the screen. So now if we go hit one of these buttons, left or right, it's going to show off. So that means now the following schedule function or full programming of the thermostat is off. Hit select. It's saving. Now, once we go back into home, as you notice, 
there's no more following schedule. This now is operating as a manual thermostat. So now you can go in there, type in 73. And it's going to hold 73 regardless. So it's operating as a very simple manual thermostat now. Okay. So that's the way that works. That was the second way of doing it. And this is probably the simplest way, but you have to disable that programming function. So let's go and do that and show you again. We're in menu. Go to program, hit select, and now you see it's off. And then we can go ahead now and turn it back on, select, and then it's gonna allow you to program it. So I'm not gonna go into that, that's gonna be part two, but let's go back to the screen. So now it says following schedule. Okay, so that was the two ways of manually overriding it. Now let's go to factory restore, which is important because if you have it uh, either used you, you find it used and you want a factory restore and go back to the original settings uh, to be safe you will have to go into this so you're gonna have to press menu and the plus button together for five seconds or three seconds something like that and then it shows isu now you're going to continue past that we're going to go into that in just a moment test it says restore default that's where you're going to want to factory reset your device here. And if you continue with another right arrow, it says restore schedule. As you can see there, it says restore schedule. Now there's two options. It's up to you. Do you want to restore just the schedule or you want to go ahead and restore the actual thermostat completely? Um, that's up to you. That's how you do it. That's where you find it you have to hold down those two buttons. I'll show you one more time to access the advanced setup options, which is the ISU and just go to the right test, go to the right again, restore defaults. And once again, restore schedule. Once you hit that one more time. So that's how simple it is to restore default. And you can go to home and it'll bring you back to the, the main screen. Now, the last part of this video is going to be the advanced setup options. Now, that's the part where I was talking about. Um, let's go back. So hold those two buttons down for three seconds. Boom. ISU. So once you get into ISU, hit select. You're going to get these numbers here. So the top number is going to be the, the actual function and then the, the bigger number below it is the actual setting. Now there's a whole bunch of these. I'll just cycle really quick through them. This is very important to figure out what it should be for your own system, whether you have um, forced hot water, uh, radiant heat, baseboard heating, or you have a, um, you know, a forced air uh, heating unit furnace. So you're gonna have to take a look at what your system is in your home and go through this list here, which is extremely hard to find. I, th this list right here, I had to search like crazy to find it. Um, it actually is a T6 Pro um, set of, of setup options, but it covers this as well. Um, so I'm just gonna show you guys really quick, a quick snapshot of each function, the number and the setting, and then I'll go over it. I'm going to go ahead and post um, the information for this uh, link uh, below the video because you will have to know this information to set up the thermostat correctly according to the system you have in your home. So I'm going to go ahead and read this off really quickly. Um, so the very first one is, let's make sure, okay. The very first one is 120, that's scheduling options. So you're going to have options to run through that zero two three four then there is 125 temperature indication scale zero or one fahrenheit or celsius 130 outdoor sensor zero or one 200 heating system type so this is very important you're going to want to make sure you have this this set correctly so depending on what it is you got to select from here 205 heating equipment type so you will also have to select from here what it is 
As you can see here, the bold letters are the ones that's default. 218, reversing valve, 0, 01. 220, cooling stages, 0, 1, 2. So depending on how many cooling stages you need, uh, you have to set that. If you're unsure, just always leave it to default. 221, heating stages, 1, 2. 230, fan control and heat, 1, 2. 253, auxiliary e-terminal control. 255, backup heat source. 256, emergency heat source. 260, external fossil fuel kit. 300, system changeover. 303, auto changeover differential. 340, so we have backup heat droop. I don't know what that is. 350, upstage timer for backup heat. 355, compressor lockout balance point. 356, outdoor lockout backup heat. Three sixty six, so three sixty five. Sorry, compressor cycle rate stage one, three sixty six compressor cycle rate stage two, three seventy heating cycle rate stage one, three seventy one heat cycle range stage two, three seventy five heating cycle rate auxiliary heat, three seventy eight heating cycle emergency heat, three eighty seven compressor protection on or off. This is also very important. You want to set that to about five minutes. So that's the zero or one, one is five minutes, zero is off. 425 adaptive intelligent recovery, whatever that is. So this will turn on your heating system earlier uh, to compensate for the, the time it takes to um, get the thing up and running and up to temperature. So that, that most likely, um, I mean, it's up to you what you want to do. I usually will turn it off. 430 minimum cooling, minimum cool set point. 431 maximum heat set point. 435 keypad lockout. 500 indoor temperature sensor. 515 indoor temperature type. 520, which sensor will be used for temperature control? 702 number of filters. 711 air filter one replacement reminder. 712 air filter two replacement reminder. 1400 backlighting. 1401 backlight brightness. 1410 clock format. 1415 daylight savings time, which is very handy. I like that. And 1420 temperature display offset. So depending on what settings you need, uh, talk to your installer. Um, this is most likely installer settings, but you will need to know this stuff um, down the line if you have to reset your, your, your unit and um, you need to go back to the proper settings. So it's really good to know that. I'll try to put this information down below the video, a link to it from the Honeywell website, because you will have to know those advanced setting options to make your unit run correctly. Your unit may run um, and have issues and you're experiencing issues if those settings are not correct. So you want to first make sure that those are good um, before you uh, diagnose any other issues in the system if it's not working correctly. So that there is going to be the video for the T4 Pro Series uh, covering, like I said, your manual override, factory restore, and the list of advanced setting options, that secret menu that... Uh, you can't access easily. Really hard to find that information. When I downloaded the, the T4 uh, manual, it was not even there. I actually had to, like I said, download the T6. I believe the T5 also has it in its manual. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you have any questions or comments, please place them right down below. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and do so. I want to thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.